2nd of August and it's the uh, the Sparrow Fart time of the morning here at Earth Sanctuary just after 6.30 and uh, I've got to pop off down to the ambulance and uh, where Tommy is at the moment and it looks like a beautiful morning. I woke up to the sounds of rainbow honeybees chirping away out here in the distance getting ready for another wonderful day. Uh, Federation insight for this morning would be about the uh, the Draconian Empire base planet up there in the cosmos uh, in a planetary system called Eta Draconis. The term uh, Draco comes from an ancient term meaning dragon. refers to a, uh, a very, very ancient civilization that links right back into our human gene pool many, many millions of years ago. Um, there's an awesome wealth of information dealing with uh, the Draconian Empire, linking back to the reptilian species. Uh, their physical features are a bipedal uh, species, females being bigger than the males, Females standing at over about three metres tall. The males just under that, about two to 2.5 metres. They are reptilian, which means they're scaly species, super intelligent, um, a scaly uh, skin-like structure, very, very strong, short, tubby, stubby tail eyes ranging from red to yellow, very similar to our Earth reptiles. Um, very, very large head, no ears. There's a circular kind of feature for ears and uh, a large mouth, very much looking like the lizard people. If anyone recalls, a, a, a television program called V, which featured on our televisions many years ago. I think uh, that'd be a good understanding of uh, what the reptilians look like. Um, there were some very, very ancient wars here on the planet Earth in relation to uh, some civilizations which went down not too long ago in the past and uh, there was a federation colony known as Hibornia and uh, that wasn't that long ago when the, when the destruction of Hibornia um, was initiated. They've also got to do with uh, the destruction of planetary systems within our solar system, uh, that being Mars and, uh, and also Venus and also um, what is known in this solar system as uh, as now just a um, a bunch of meteorites or uh, debris floating in between Mars and uh, and uh, Jupiter, and uh, that's called an asteroid belt. That's a very ancient planet called Moldek, and that was uh, one of the home planets for the uh, reptilians many many years ago. And uh, the ancient stories suggest that the Federation were uh, pushed to the limits and um, destroyed that planetary system 
to uh, hopefully move the reptilians out of this, uh, this very, very ancient solar system in which Earth inhabits the uh, culture that we spoke about a little while ago, known as, um, I guess I call it the people of Havana or Monmarachia, and uh, the text refers to the Urantia, call this solar system um, Satania, and uh, this is 606 of Satania. 606 referring to the number of human inhabited planets throughout the uh, throughout the um, this particular system at 606 planets which have uh, the human species or human gene pool uh, which was seeded that's a lot of planets just with uh, with human beings on and that's just 606 of this system there are literally thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of planets in which um, the human gene pool has been seeded throughout the universe so there's going to be a few surprises in the future uh, just how many there are of us. Keeping in mind, uh, we were uh, sent here as planetary guardians by the Syrians and Pleiadians. And the superstars that uh, saw the future and needed to have uh, guardians throughout the planet for the dark forces which were um, based up around the Ankara Alliance or the ancient Draconian Empire. And uh, by the sounds of it, they certainly sent some fear throughout the universe. The Galactic Federation was a secondary term. We were known originally as the Legions of Light many, many, many years ago. And uh, we were a bunch of renegades Jedi's and light workers. Most people know the Orion constellation as being home to the Zeta Reticulis, which um, are a beautiful species and uh, we've been wrongfully done by by certain propaganda which occurs here on the planet Earth. These are a species we probably more um, familiar with as knowing as the Greys and. Uh, um, Federation intelligence would indicate that there are three different kinds of species of greys, one being about six, six to seven foot tall, one's around about three foot tall, and one's about one foot tall. Um, a very loving group. They have a very, very ancient, ancient uh, history. And um, they too, once upon a time, looked like you and me. And uh, it was only the fact that they went through a major environmental and planetary change on their planet, which was known as the Apex Planet, and uh, they were forced underground many, many hundreds of thousands of years ago, and um, that move in their history ended up altering their physical appearance to what we know today, and um, they're here at the moment, or many factions of their their uh, species are here today to try and enable their own species to survive. They're in a bit of a, a difficult position for they've uh, genetically manipulated their species so much that they're now in a position where they are looking down the barrel and they're uh, now looking at the human species and trying to um, get uh, certain um, tissue substance particularly dealing with our lymphatic system to uh, try and assist their survival. Um, but that's the greys and we'll obviously touch on that further in the future. So the Draconian Empire up there in the constellation of Draco. We're all part of the Federation. We're all getting ready for this big countdown to 2012. There's been many, many, many millions of years of struggle and fight, tyranny, but there are freedom fighters out there and uh, there's no doubt if you're watching this you're obviously one of them.